Lucy. How Hi. are you? Good to I'm see good. You. How are you doing? Here's my virtual hug for you through the uh, through the screen. Thank cool. you. All right, I'm going to start with the hard question first. Was the biggest challenge of this movie getting the costume on? <laughs> because and the reason I, I say that is because when these period pieces, I talk to the cast, they always tell me that the costume, like specifically the dresses, because some of them like have wires in them. I want to know from you, yeah. was that the case full here? Full cage, a full cage inside those dresses. Um <laughs> Yeah, that was the I think the most challenging element of that costume was uh breathing and speaking um <laughs> and moving. Uh but it was kind of it was a great insight into what women would have had to deal with and it and it completely changes the way that you carry yourself and move. So, you know, the joy of this job is that you get to exit yourself and your world. Uh, of course it will do that to you. Um I've known you for quite some time. You are one of the nicest people that I get a chance to talk with. Um, I will pay you that compliment, but you're playing Marie Antoinette, who was not known for being so nice. Um, how did you, she's the one that said, let them eat cake, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going <laughs> to challenge you on that one. She okay, didn't well, actually say it. Really? Hold on. So uh, before yeah. I finish the question, let's talk about that. I, I yeah. That's what I thought. She, she was the one. No? Everybody does. Well, everyone says that she said it, but it was attributed to someone four years before she was born. Uh, and then... Rousseau wrote about it in his confessions as it being a kind of a colloquialism of the princess who was so detached from her people that when they said we're hungry she said let them eat cake and it became a kind of I think there's truth to the sentiment because of the way that she was so sheltered from the realities of the world but they weren't her words. Interesting. Now yeah. we've just become an educational show. I love that. I know, exactly. <laughs> okay, but so I'll go back to the original question. You're just yeah. awesome and you're just such a nice person, but what did you channel to become? Because there are some scenes that she's not so nice. I know you're a professionally trained actress, but how'd you do it? I think there's something, you know, enticing to an actor about going to extremes. And this is an example of that. I think you try and sit in the headspace of that character, but also I think Joseph is such a heroic character. He's such a heroic person that he's so up here that you then have to meet him there with equal amount of his goodness, equal amount of villainy. And so it was just pure ice water in your veins, venom, cornered rat acting out of pure fear and, you know, self preservation. So it was, let it rip and you're really lucky to have someone like Kelvin to act opposite in those moments. I love it. All right. I just absolutely love it. Beautiful film. Great story. And I'm really, really happy I was able to speak with you today. Thanks for your time. Good to see you again Thank next you time. So Let's much. do this Likewise. in person. Thank you.